Here we are talking about Murder, She Wrote again. This was a decent episode. I thought this was an interesting one because Jessica Fletcher was kind of targeted in it. Not, not by murder, but so much they wanted to sue her for her books. One of Jessica's best-selling mysteries makes her the target of a lawsuit by a man who was tried and quitted for murder. Murder at discount. 7.7 7 out of 10, 260. Okay. Um... Next episode was Murder in White. These were all 1993 episodes, by the way. Until the next step, one of some of these might curve out into um, 1994. When Jessica is called to London to rewrite the stage adaption of her novel, she must prove her actress f friend innocent of a killing a producer. 7.1 out of 10, 227. That was kind of a little sketchy. I mean, why would they adapt one of her novels into a play? Um... Yeah, not many plays do get, they don't get adapted. It's just because, you know, a lot of, I believe some things belong on a book. But that's my, this is all fiction, so it doesn't really matter what I think. All right. The next one it would be, yes, this one was in 1994. The rest of them I read now are 1994. While stranded in a small Canadian town, small Canadian town Jessica helps them. Mounties solve two, hope I said that right, solve two local murders, 7.5 out of 10, 232. This is actually pretty good. It wasn't a bad episode. Um, although I think it's kind of far-fetched that, you know, Jessica is in one place one time, another place in another. You know, she, she completely got away from Cabot Cove. And you know why? I'll say, basically I'll sp explain that at the end of the video. This got a 7.5 out of 10, I already said this with 232 rating. You can watch this on Peacock, too. Some of these episodes only said you could watch on in other things. Okay, so 12. Jessica attends the opening of a new restaurant, but when the chef is killed, Jessica isn't the only one who can find the real killer. Proof in the pudding. This was okay. Um, 7.2 out of 10, 222 ratings. This can also be watched on Peacock. Did I watch the other one? Uh... All right, that's it for that. So all I'm going to tell you is, is that, you know, what was I going to say? <laughs> now I'm losing my train of thought now. Um, the, the whole idea of Murder, She Wrote is they wanted to kind of get away from Cabot Cove. And they were right. I read that in some kind of article or review. What they actually did was, is they, it did exactly what I said. They go, they kind of got rid of it. They, it's very rare that she goes back there. There's actually a doctor there's an older guy who plays a doctor for Cabin Cove. But he's in no episodes. You look him up on IMDb. He's only like 60-something something episodes in the series. And there's two, over 200, close to 250 or whatever episodes it says on there. So Cabin Cove is out of the question. She's not even in New York most of the time. She's just in a lot of random spots now. And there's no way you would allow someone like Kurt to interfere with a murder. Because that would be way against the law. Um, they would never, the last thing they would want is someone like from, from a novel to start self solving murders for police departments. You know, you could have a real good case to get away with what you're doing if someone gets involved. You could sue them for all kinds of problems, interference, all kinds of stuff. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.